Wie auch immer, wir äh, müssen noch ein Essen abholen. Mann, wird das heute eine lange Folge. Hätte ich doch zwei draus machen können, ne? wenn ich das vorher gewusst hätte. Aber jetzt habe ich auch keine Lust mehr auf eine An- und Abmoderation. Jetzt mache ich das so. Ich würde sagen, wir warten vor Emilys Haus. Wir haben aber nur noch eine Zigarette. Das könnte böse werden. Wenn wir den Zeitpunkt verpassen wann Emily nach Hause kommt. Das war ja äh, nicht so ganz einheitlich. Beim ersten Mal war sie um sechs zu Hause und um acht ging es nicht mehr. Beim nächsten Mal mussten wir erst nach acht da sein. Ich habe wirklich nur, ich hab nur noch eine Zigarette. Und ich kann nicht ins Hotel, um neue zu kaufen. Das ist natürlich jetzt bitter. Ja. Also müssen wir potenziell warten dann. Emilys Haus, Emilys Haus, da ist Emilys Haus. Gibt auch keine Stelle, wo man Zigaretten so aufsammeln kann, ne? Die Geschäfte haben zu. Draußen fährt ein Rettungswagen vorbei. Mehrere sogar. Was passiert? Hm. Ja, Emily ist nicht zu Hause. Ja, Leute, auf welche Zeit warten wir denn jetzt? Wenn wir zur Vorsicht so 19 Uhr machen? Machen wir mal 19 Uhr. Gehen wir mal, machen wir mal zur Vorsicht. Ich weiß die Zeit wirklich nicht. Kann sein, dass das wieder 18 Uhr ist, wie beim ersten Mal. Kann sein, dass es nach 8 ist, wie beim zweiten Mal. Vielleicht ist es auch eine völlig andere Zeit. Aber ich vermute, dass das zweite so spät war, weil Emily ja eigentlich äh, bei der Hauptquest auf uns gewartet hat. Und wir sind ja einfach nicht gekommen. Das haben wir ja manchmal. Ich hoffe, das wird jetzt was. Ja, Emily ist zu Hause. Zeit für ein schönes Abendessen. Hi, Emily. Schatz, ich bin zu Hause. Oh, it's still not right. You've certainly gone to town this time, haven't you? There's something I really want to cook, but I can't remember what it is. You can't remember? It's something you want to cook, right? Well, that's the thing. It's something my father made for me once a long, long time ago. My mother was sick, so he had to cook. That was the only time he cooked. I remember how it tasted, and I, I wanted to make the same dish, but no luck. I also remember what it looked like, but I have no idea what was in it. And you still decided that you'd give it a try anyways. Amazing. Most people would give up without even trying, Emily. Do you have a problem with this? Okay, so I was nostalgic and emotional, but I wanted to give it a try. I'm sorry. I need to watch my mouth. Who am I to comment on your private issues? I'll make up for it by helping you look for the right ingredients. You will? Yes, of course. This will make a nice break from the investigation for me. Now then, what kind of dish was it? Various different ingredients placed on top of an English muffin. With some kind of sauce on top. A yellow sauce. He learned it from a diner close to where he worked in New York. So a New York style yellow sauce. Do you remember anything else? Well, there were two things on the muffins. Something chewy and salty and something soft with, with two colors. Okay, then, Emily, I think I know what you're talking about. I'll go and look for the ingredients. You try to remember some more. Sounds like a plan. Well, then, let's try to recreate this taste from her past. What do you say, Zach? Kochen nach Erinnerung, das ist, äh... Also, ich bin ganz ehrlich, ich würde das nicht versuchen, schon gar nicht, wenn ich Emilys Kochkünste hätte. Finden Sie... Etwas Festes, Salziges, etwas Weiches, Zweifarbiges und die gelbe Soße, die Emily zum Kochen braucht und helfen sie ihr. Das haben wir ja alle schon im Inventar. Können wir gleich loslegen. Hallo, Schwester. So, als allererstes kriegst du den Schinken vom Land. Emily, hier ist one. 
etwas Festes, Salziges. This is definitely right. We're getting closer to how it tasted. Great. A yellow sauce and something soft with two colors. So, etwas Weiches mit zwei Farben. Ich finde es ein bisschen traurig, dass Emily nicht in der Lage ist, ein Ei zu identifizieren. Aber man soll ja nicht zu viel von den Leuten erwarten, ne? Vielleicht, ja, vielleicht sind meine Erfahrung. Erwartungen auch einfach viel zu hoch gesteckt hier an Menschen. This is great. Now this is getting close. One more step and we'll be there. Only one more ingredient. The yellow sauce. My father cooked it, so I have the feeling it came from a can. Ja, die gelbe Soße, die haben wir ja auch schon. Eigentlich sagt einem das Spiel ja schon recht deutlich, was man zu suchen hat. Obwohl äh, hier weich und zweifarbig, das, das ist schon fies. Das ist, das ist so eine Sache, Emily, here's another one. wenn ich es nicht gewusst hätte, weiß ich nicht, ob ich drauf gekommen wäre. This is it! That's exactly what it tasted like. Eggs Benedict. Huh. The name of this dish. It's a popular breakfast dish in Louisiana. Your father was quite a chef then. What do you mean? This is much harder to make than it looks, Emily. You have to bring it to the table with all the ingredients at the same temperature. And that requires preparation, timing and skill. You'd have to be pretty good at these three things to make a really good eggs benedict. Really? I never thought of him as a skilled cook. I haven't talked to him for ages. We've been kind of separated. I wonder what he's doing now. Do you have his number? I think so. Probably stuck in the old picture album. Emily, just interrupt me if I'm out of line here, but I'd like to tell you how I like to think about these things. People develop their own personality through interaction with other people. Whether they like it or not, that's how it happens. I don't know anything about the past between you and your father, but the fact is you enjoyed making something that he cooked for you. He's a big part of your past, which means he's part of you. That's normal, and you have nothing to be ashamed of. So why don't you give him a call? But I wouldn't know what to say. We can talk about this recipe. That'll be a good place to start. Thank you, York. I'll, I'll give him a call after you leave. I, I don't want you standing over my shoulder for this. Okay, good. Here, take this. A gift for helping me with my cooking today. And for everything else. Eine Wetterpuppe! Was auch immer die bewirkt. Und eine weitere Quest ist abgeschlossen. Wir machen uns richtig gut. Im ganzen Spiel dürften jetzt theoretisch nur noch sechs Quests offen sein. Ich guck mal nach. Vielleicht schneide ich das auch einfach so in zwei Folgen, ohne An- und Abmoderation. Muss ich mal gucken. Weil jetzt sind wir bei 40 Minuten und wir wollen ja die äh, Nachbesprechung noch machen. Ja, bis jetzt sieht gut aus. Alles abgeschlossen. Halt. Quest 15 von Keith Ingram. Die ist noch offen. Äh, steht aber auch erst ab dem nächsten Kapitel zur Verfügung. Quest 16 ist auch noch offen, Keith Ingram. Quest 17 auch von Keith Ingram. Das ist, ach so, das ist das äh, Gitarre zurückbringen. Okay, das wären schon mal drei. 26 von Harry Stewart. Und von Michael Tillotson haben wir auch noch eine Quest offen. Das wären fünf Quests. Boah, guckt euch das an hier. Was wir hier schon gerissen haben, halt. Achso, ja, genau. Und äh, der Spitzensammler ist auch noch offen. 
Und ansonsten haben wir es. Sehr schöne Sache, würde ich mal sagen. Sehr, sehr schöne Sache. So, danke, Emily. Dann können wir ja jetzt zurück ins Hotel. Für unser Debriefing und das Ende des Kapitels. Und dann auch für eine kleine Aufnahmepause. Ich bin jetzt hier gute zwei Stunden am Stück am Aufnehmen. Fünf Folgen habe ich jetzt gemacht. Wenn ich das äh, hier aufteile. Ne? Also wenn ich da zwei Folgen drauf mache, dann sind es fünf, sonst sind es vier. So, was macht denn jetzt die Wetterpuppe? Eine Puppe, die durch Umdrehen das Wetter vorhersagt. Die Puppe sagt Regenwetter voraus. Die Puppe sagt gutes Wetter voraus. Ach, ich, ich kann damit jetzt das Wetter selber beeinflussen? Wie geil ist denn das bitte? Wie geil ist denn das bitte? Gut, dass wir nicht wirklich schlafen müssen, sondern dass wir das Kapitel beenden im äh, Hotel. Sonst müssten wir jetzt nämlich überlegen, wo wir auf die Schnelle noch was zu essen herkriegen. Das Essen von Thomas war ja diesmal auch ungenießbar, leider. Das Deiner hat nicht auf. So, Polly, ich bin zu Hause. Ich bin zu Hause. Ich meine, diese Ladebildschirme ist furchtbar. Jetzt geht's los. Zack, let's go over our progress. From what Olivia told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house, Nick and Diane became our primary suspects. There were a couple of reasons for this. First, Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Also, Nick has no alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. We followed Nick to the art gallery. Which led us, unfortunately, to our third victim. The third victim, Diane, was strung up in the entrance hall of the art gallery. Her hands were tied and a knife was sticking out of her chest. However, there was a marked difference from the previous crimes. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Was? Klar. Uh, und zwar... War Becky aber auch. War bei Becky genauso. Which means the criminal was still close by. Genau wie bei Becky. Ja, ich habe schon Verdacht. Also ich habe ja. Nick was not down in the entrance. Zack, who was the other person at the gallery? Ganz ehrlich. Und das ignoriert York jetzt auch gerade ein bisschen. Da war noch jemand an der Galerie. Oder aber er redet jetzt natürlich von Casey. That's right. Casey. We followed Willie. Good dog. All the way to him. Casey's statement came out as follows. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. That was why he visited the gallery. The two were in the middle of such a meeting when Nick showed up. Diane lost her cool and shut Kaysen up in the basement. Now, what did Kaysen hear when he was locked up? Sag mal, muss ich mir eigentlich alles merken, Junge? Kannst du nicht mal selber aufpassen? Das ist deine Geschichte. That's it. The sound of boots passing by. Nick was wearing boots that day. Which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Nick said he argued verbally with Diane about her playing around with men, but they eventually decided to go out drinking to make up. However, immediately after that, 
Nick was attacked by someone in the entrance hall and knocked unconscious. We saw the rest. Zack, do you think that Nick is our serial killer? No. Ich habe doch in Folge 41 schon gesagt, äh, was ich denke, wer es ist. Me too. Usher sent in a report too. He found a large volume of red seeds in Diane's stomach. This confirms her as a victim of the raincoat killer. Remaining leads. There is the locket, which is in Carol's possession. The man with the tattooed back and the upside down peace sign. There's a lot left to answer. I hope the coffee will give us more guidance tomorrow. Ja, der Kaffee. Wie du meinst, mein Freund. Zack, what did you think about George pouring his heart out? I was surprised. It's the ah. end of a monarchy. Was, was, was macht deine Krawatte da? Das irritiert mich total. Me York instead of Agent Morgan. Na nü. Wer könnte denn das jetzt noch sein? Huch. Emily? What's going on? Do you know what time it is? I'm... I'm sorry. I... I couldn't sleep, so... I was drinking alone. My mother was a very kind woman. She always smiled so brightly. I baked cakes and cookies every day. She'd say that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. My father was always quiet. We never talked much. He was a federal agent, just like me. And he was hardly ever at home. The only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. I had a vivid imagination and I remember he once said this to me. There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. I found out later that my father was one of the first to ever use criminal profiling to catch bad guys. And so now I'm doing exactly the same job that he did. Like father, like son. Mm, can I ask you something? Shoot. Mind if it's something personal? Fire away. Who's Zack? Zack is a friend of mine. Oh, so you do have friends. Yeah. He's my only friend. What kind of person is he then? Well, I've, I've never seen his face. But he's always with me, and we discuss everything. When did you become friends? Long time ago. Back when I was a child. I was seven. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so... I headed in to see her. My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. I was so scared. I closed my eyes. So I, I don't remember much more. But I do remember the words my father said to me. At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. He shot my mother and then killed himself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Zack's with me. It was around that time that we became friends. 
I'm here. I'm with you, he said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Quite aside from that terrible scene in front of me, that voice seemed to make me calmer. And here we are, working together, getting through things. This is the first time I've ever told anyone about this. I wonder if Zack will get angry. No, all is good. That's a sad story. But I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I'm sure there was a reason for what your father did. I know. I think maybe I became an agent to find out why he did what he did. Oh, oh yeah, York, I, I forgot to thank you. Thank me? For what? You saved my life. If you didn't save me at the gallery, I would have died along with Diane. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. What did you just say? Useless? <laughs> I was never expecting to hear you say that. Huh. There might be a modest guy in you after all. Finally, you noticed? You're a little slow, aren't you? Maybe <laughs> hopeless, but not useless. Zack, do you think Emily got home safely? Anyway, I think it's more serious of a situation than I thought. Do you remember? Our conversation with Emily. Yeah, I was there. She's really interested in you. I think she's starting to have certain feelings for you. For me? Mm, klar. If that's the case, Zack, you and I are rivals. This is a very serious situation indeed. Oh, alles gut, mach nur. Es muss nicht sein. Well, if it comes to that, let it be a fair fight. Agreed? Von mir aus, wenn du drauf bestehst. Thomas! 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 Let me out of here! Come on! Please! Just for a moment! I know you're there! Come on! Please! Thomas! 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 Ha <laughs> ha!